Suppose you are tiling the floor of a 10 foot by 10 foot room and find that 100 tiles will be needed. How many tiles will be needed to tile the floor of a 20 foot by 20 foot room? Let's learn. Key thing here is the first part, or something to compare to, or rate here in a way, or kind of like the amount per square feet. We have 10 foot by 10 foot room that goes to 100 tiles. Well, a 10 foot by 10 foot room is, well, multiply that out. 10 by 10 is 100, and that's going to be for doing feet, right? 100 feet squared, or square feet. We're dealing with an area here, okay? So they tell us here that 100 tiles matches up with 100 square feet. The second part we want to find out is how many tiles are need, needed for a 20 foot by 20 foot room. So we need to calculate the square foot of that room. Here's a hint, it's not going to be multiplied by 2. It's not 200, so be careful, that's a common mistake. If we do 20 feet by 20 feet, we get 400 square feet. 20 times 20 is 400, okay? So we'll have 400 square feet here over, let's say, the number of tiles and tiles. We don't know what they are. If you want to see this visually, how that square foot kind of changes, let's do this. If this is 20 feet by 20 feet, 10 feet is halfway on each one of those. And we create a square here. And we can see that square is one fourth of the overall area. So this is our 10 by 10, 100 feet squared. The whole thing would be 400. So Mansell helps you with a the visual there. All right, so now here we just want to multiply 400 to both sides. 400 feet. Right there. And notice how our units are going to, well, kind of cancel here. Feet squared, sorry. There we go. 400 feet squared cancel on the right. Feet squared cancels. Feet squared cancels here. And we have, well, 100 over 100 is going to be, well, that's 1. So really, we have 400 tiles equals n tiles. So if we have a 20 foot by 20 foot room, we'll need 400 tiles. And there we have it. I hope you learned some math here, and as always, thanks for watching.